Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some Nintendo Joy-Cons, but these are obviously fake Joy-Cons. I picked these up off of AliExpress for about 20 pounds, which is about 25, 26 dollars, sort of in that region. And uh, there's something pretty weird about these ones, which I haven't really seen anyone uh, cover before. So I'm quite excited to get into that. Obviously, um, you might notice a small difference in my background. Uh, I've moved studio, the sound might not be 100% yet, but um, I'm just going to have to get some feedback from you guys and just trial and error sort of thing, so hopefully everything will be okay. This is the lens cap, we can start by getting rid of that. So I've got my Nintendo Switch with me today, this is my custom mint green Nintendo Switch. Uh, this shell was sent to me by Customize Your Controllers, uh, super high quality um, paint work here. It's, it's absolutely excellent. Uh, they have colors that no one else is doing, so definitely go check out Customize Your Controllers. Not sponsored at all, I just absolutely love mint green, so really was happy to get that. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look at the left and right Joy-Cons for N Switch. Pretty peculiar name, but they're actually calling them Joy-Cons, which I think is quite cheeky. So on the side of the box, it says built-in motion sensor, which is probably just like a potentiometer, real-time vibration, battery-powered, something there, I can't see it, uh, includes a Type-C cable, which is quite nice. Um, and then we've also got accurate multifunctional motion control, play even while charging, BTV3 wireless connection, which is basically just the connection type sort of thing, improved ergonomics, providing a more comfortable grip compatible with the Nintendo Switch gaming console. So I reckon they're really gonna push these a lot when the Nintendo Switch Lite comes out, because obviously they don't have the removable Joy-Cons, uh, which the original, ooh, which the original Nintendo Switch has. So it's gonna be uh, pretty weird if you're buying these replacement Joy-Cons Joy uh, when there's a bunch of other ones out on the market which actually do connect to your Nintendo Switch. So I reckon they're gonna push these a lot when the Switch Lite comes out. But let's just take a look at what is inside the box. So as you can see, I opted for the blue and red ones despite there being black ones on the box. Uh, and we'll take those out so we can bask in their glory, but goodness me, they are looking like some sort of Kinder Egg toy and they feel like that too, jeez. We'll get a better look at those in a second. So here is the uh, USB-C cable. Actually doesn't feel too low quality, but it's a USB-C cable, so happy days. It's better than having a mini USB or micro USB. There's also a little instruction booklet, which we're definitely not going to read. It says that it's got a built-in 400 milliamp hour battery, which is probably quite good. I'm not actually 100% sure. I think that's the same as the regular Switch. Um, obviously, the difficulty with these is we can't dock them, which means we're going to have to charge them separately, and we're going to have to charge all three things separately, the Switch and the Joy-Cons, um, and they've only obviously given us one cable, so there's a couple of flaws there already, but let's just see what they are like then. So is there any charge in them at the moment? Because, uh, let's see, is that the power button there? Oh, wow, okay, it did it. Wait, we just got to do the same with this one now. Oh, I think this one's out of battery. Oh no, here we go. Yes, wait, <gasps> yes. Yes, I did it. Oh my goodness me, that was not easy. Home button. Wow, oh my God, we're actually in. Oh my goodness me, look at that. We are actually, wow, okay, we are actually in. That was not a simple process, but it is done now, and that is quite exciting. Okay, uh, hello. Wait, oh, these joysticks have a bit of drift on them straight out of the box. That's good, right. Let's try a little bit of Mario Kart. Now, obviously, if you're buying these Joy-Cons, chances are you are gonna be buying to buy them for the sake of having two-player controls. So, um, you're not really gonna buy them and start using them like this, although that is possible. You're gonna to wanna to use them like this and then give one to one person and then play the other one um, yourself or whatever. So, when you get into Mario Kart, we're gonna to wanna to go L and R there, single player, uh, let's go Grand Prix and let's just do a quick race and see how they act. Um, straight away, I mean, they don't feel like the highest of quality um, sort of plastic, but you know, for the sake of 20 quid, uh, that's just what one of the actual official Joy-Cons cost. Um, and then, you know, you're still not really getting a proper comfortable experience. This is far more ergonomic 
Um, there's sort of a little ridge here for your fingers to grip onto um, and everything is sort of centered as well, which is nice, which is different to the uh, original ones. So yeah, I mean, they feel okay. The buttons don't feel too bad. Um, the biggest decider really is gonna be how good the joy -Con, uh, joystick is rather. Um, the connection seems to be okay which is something that we're gonna to have to sort of test later on as well. But right now, straight out of the box, it feels rather good. Let's see how a game of Super Mario, sorry, Mario Deluxe 8, Kart, Mario, whatever it is, here we go. <laughs> okay, so the rumble feature is actually quite good, although it has a bit of a tendency to rumble even when nothing rumble-worthy has happened, if that makes sense. So I'm not sure if that's like a, a frequency thing. Oh, okay, so we can do our little spins as well, which is quite nice. So the, uh, the motion sensor uh, potentiometer is working very, very nicely. These are actually pretty good, you know. The, uh, the joystick feels quite good. It doesn't feel quite as, uh, as sort of snappy as the official ones, but that being said, it does feel rather good. I guess the biggest decider really is gonna be the connection, but the connection for now seems okay. Um, I would actually say this is a bit of a resounding success. I was not expecting these things to be good. I mean, they look ridiculous. They look like some sort of Joy-Cons on steroids, but they are right working. And look, if I go for a little flip there, you can see that that works. So that is actually quite exciting. Uh, 20 quid and you're getting yourself some pretty ergonomic Joy-Cons. And you know, these are the sort of things which are just good to keep in the drawer when you have friends and family around. Um, and it's far cheaper um, to buy these. If they're not gonna be used that often, it's far cheaper to buy these than it is to go out and buy a bunch of official Joy-Cons. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give these an absolute yes from me. Uh, let's see if all the buttons actually work. So we've got a uh, capture button there, that works. Home button works. Um, L and R buttons obviously work because we tested that before. The A button's working on there. There's the plus and the uh, the minus button. Let's see. Yeah, that's all working very well. So yeah, wow. Super impressed by that. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, would you rather these for 20 pounds or spend an extra 50 pounds on these? You decide, you tell me. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.